Hi everyone, it's Gary from ScaleSpot Models here. Um, I'm venturing into uncharted territory a little bit tonight. Um, this is my first video, so uh, please bear with um, me. And I've seen a number of uh, questions about the new Quintus Studio um, uh, decals, 3D decals, and I've posted a few photos and I thought that um, I can take photos of the step-by-step, -step, but really a video would be the best way to kind of show you how I think um, these new uh, detail sets could be used um, on your models. And so um, here I've got uh, one example. I've got the 48 scale F105G Thunder Chief uh, 3D decal from Quinta. And you can see it basically gives you the front cockpit, the rear cockpit, and it also gives you the, um, the seat belts uh, and a few little bits and pieces to go into the, the, the windscreen. Um, and I've already uh, started to cut up the, uh, the decal sheet. Um, it was considerably larger when I started. Um, but um, what I wanted to do was really just show you that, um, I mean, I've taken plenty of photos of the, um, the actual uh, decals themselves. Um, you know, uh, on the sheet, but um, how, how do they react? Are they like normal decals? Um, how, do, how do you work with them? And, and I'm kind of making this up as I go. Um, it may not be strictly as per the Quinta uh, instructions, uh, which by the way, here are the instructions, you know, lots of small, <laughs> lots of small text, um, but basically it's a case of stick them in warm water, uh, take them off the sheet and then apply them to the model. Um, and as part of my testing, what I did was I actually looked at, you know, the, uh, the instructions and realized that these are not normal decals, right? That's the first thing you need to realize is that they're not a normal decal. Um, they do come on decal backing paper. Um, and so what I'll do here is I will simply cut off just a couple of pieces. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'll just make a little bit of room here. I'll just get rid of this instruction sheet bring in some warm water, just like normal decals, uh, because in fact, the, the backing paper is normal decal backing paper. Um, but I, what I think Quinta do is they actually then lay down this polymerized vinyl and they build it up in layers um, on the decal backing paper, uh, just as a way, a convenient way of shipping it um, to customers, right? So um, the sets themselves actually are pretty straightforward. When you, when you receive them, they're just in a plastic bag. As you can see here, you've got the instructions. You've got each of the, call them a decal sheet, um, basically in the clear plastic bag. Um, and, you know, they're not very big, especially in 48 scale. Um, and, you know, you, get, you pull the sheet out and, uh, and you just start cutting it up like a normal decal. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll just kick off. And what I'm going to do here is I'm really just going to dunk it in the water. I'll move these guys out of the road because I'm just as likely to drip some uh, water on there. You don't need to leave it in for very long. Um, and I'll just put it on this um, white paper towel here. And you can see that within a very short a period of time, like, you know, within 10 to 20 seconds, the, um, the I'm not going to call it a decal because it's not really a decal. Um, the, the numbers on the side here, they are actual decals, right? And you can see that I can take those off. But the actual panels, call them the detail parts, are not actually decals at all. And you'll see here that now all I'm doing is just picking it up and separating it from the backing paper. Put it back in the water, just give it a bit of a... And there's no adhesive, right? So there's no glue as such. Um, but all I'm doing is I'm just using a cotton bud just to clean up the back of it. And you can see the white vinyl. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but it's quite shiny. Um, and all I'm going to do is just put that aside on just a piece of, in this case, it's just a piece of tissue paper or just a, a paper serviette and just let that, let that, well, it doesn't even have to dry because it doesn't actually get wet because it's vinyl and vinyl doesn't absorb water, right? So once again, with this, I'm going to pull it off, just, you know, wipe it, tap it down, get rid of the excess water off it. Um, and you'll see here that there's no glue on there. Uh, because it's vinyl, it's very flexible, right? So as I showed in some of the photos on my, on my Facebook page, you know, this stuff is literally just like normal vinyl. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave those to dry. I'm not actually going to glue them on the cockpit, uh, onto the instrument panel just yet. 
uh, because I'm just going to put them off to the side. And when I'm ready, right, because if, if these were normal decals, I'd put them straight onto the model, right? I'd, I would take the, um, you know, the, the, the side consoles here, and here's the actual the, the cockpit out of the Hobby Boss kit uh, for the F-105. Um, and if you look at some of the parts that I've previously separated from the, from the decal sheet, Push that so that so th so the, these parts here that's the rear cockpit which I've just started working on and these are the, the this is the front cockpit which I've previously um, previously separated from the sheet right now if these were normal decals right I wouldn't be leaving them sitting on a paper towel for for overnight but because they're vinyl you know now I can basically just like with photo etch I can pick them up I can position them I can you know I've, I can take my time. I don't have to rush, um, and I can basically, you know, put glue on them, which I'm not going to do in this video, but you get the idea that now that I've sort of got them separated out off the, that backing paper, right, I can very easily position them on the model um, where I want them, um, and then I can use my glue of choice. Now, probably my weapon of choice in this case is going to be this, uh, the new... Um, uh, MIG ammo, uh, what they call ultra glue. It's for photo etch and clear parts. And it's very similar to, um, I think I've got some here, uh, gator glue, which you may have come across. Here we go. Acrylic hobby, yeah, uh, gator, gator grip. Uh, and so, you know, these two products are very similar, I find. Um, they're not, they're, they're stronger than just standard PVA. You could probably use PVA on these vinyl parts from Quinta. Uh, you could certainly use um, super glue, although I haven't done any testing of super glue yet, so you want to be a bit, a bit careful with that. Um, I will I will do a little bit more testing. Um, but, you know, here, again, you can see that the instrument panel is like a, a multi-part, you know, for the bottom here. It very, reminds me very much of the wedge parts. You can see that I've actually sanded the, um, the detail, the raised detail away from the kit part. Um, so that I can fit that um, that vinyl part on there, and using these glues, I'll have plenty of time to position it. Um, I can then pick up, you know, once that's dry, I can pick these other little parts up and and assemble it just like a, just like photo etch. Obviously, before I do that, I'll be painting the the kit plastic, um, and um, then I'll be ready to go. So um, so hopefully, you know, uh, that gives you a a better sense of what these, you know, the new Quinta 3D decals um, are all about. Um, I don't really know yet how well they're going to react to uh, washes because um, I like to use enamel washes in my in my um, my weathering. Um, so I'll be doing a little bit of experimentation with that. Um, hopefully they don't all, you know, crinkle up and, and go horrible. Um, but I guess if that happens, I'll learn a lesson and I can buy another set. Um, but um, anyway, hopefully that was useful and um, I'd you know, love your feedback on whether these videos are useful and, and uh, don't make fun of my Australian accent. Anyway, I'll see you next time.